Hi there, Rob Green here from FSW UK and in this video I'm going to demonstrate um, how to remove a Schrader core under pressure okay because I get a lot of customers asking me are they a little bit skeptical initially they love the idea of using core tools but they're a little bit afraid of um, what's going to happen to the refrigerant and how much pressure is going to come out of the um, the core tool etc so we're going to demonstrate exactly what it is and what I always say to them is is to test it first on a, a bottle of R410A because it's got a decent amount of pressure roughly 200 psi uh, and what I've done for this uh, test example is to fill my empty service cylinder with 200 psi of OFN okay um, I've just screwed a little quarter access stub on a uh, sorry flared it and screwed it on the cylinder as you can see there okay so just a demo we've got 200 roughly 200 psi in there on the coming up the liquid valve here and then i've got the stub on the suction valve okay so we're going to turn this i've got my camera real close into me and i'm going to do this fully in close up okay so this is the schrader core removal tool this is the quarter core removal tool from appion it's the black one the pink Appion core removal tool denotes 5 16 okay? But it doesn't matter what core removal tool is, it's the same process of what I'm going to show you now, okay? So, okay, so we've got the Appion, the black Appion Schrader core removal tool. This is the quarter inch one, okay? Quarter inch SA in the front. The pink one has a 5 16 fit in on the front end for 410 and R32 units. But the back end of this valve is always quarter, regardless of what size is on the front of it, okay? One thing I want to show you that's a bit special about the Appion, see that um, the two finger prong there? At the very top of it, there's two little barbs, one barb either side, which helps go into the Schrader core and grab it a little bit better than more Schrader core removal tools. Right? It's a nice little feature Appion introduced a number of years ago, okay? So tighten up the front, Okay, let's just prove to you we've got pressure in here. So the Schrader core's fitted. The vapor valve's open, so I've got pressure coming up behind the Schrader core. And we've got pressure in this um, yellow top cylinder, okay? So, let's camera come back into focus. There we go. So you tighten the Schrader core on, okay? Or the core tool on, I should say. And then what we're effectively doing with the Schrader core removal tool, you're removing the Schrader, and then you're stopping the refrigerant coming out by adding a quarter turn valve on there all at the same time, okay? So we've got the Schrader core removal part of it, the shaft, okay? And on this one on the end, we've got a, a nice little magnet on the Appion, okay? Which is handy for keeping the Schrader core nice and tidy. So, tighten this on first. With the shaft out this way, okay? Coming out this way. And then make sure that this is nice and tight but only hand tight going onto the Schrader core or service valve okay that contains the Schrader core on the end okay if do not never get water pump pliers and try and over tighten this if you over tighten Schrader core removal tools you'll squash the o-ring in the end and as you try and remove the, the, the Schrader core it will catch on the rubber and it will keep pulling the core off the end so don't do it don't all you need is hand tight if it's, it's leaking out of here then um, avoid using a, um, a water pump place to tighten it, change the o-ring in the end of the seal, okay? There's obviously something wrong if it's, um, if it's catching, okay? Or leaking when you tighten it hand tight, okay? So, here we go. I'm going to push the shaft in, all the way in, and I'm going to turn it, and I can just feel the prongs going into the Schrader core, and then what I do, watch the end of you now, didn't do it that time, so I must have pushed it in too hard. So I'm going to turn it, find it, and then you push it a fraction again till it grips it. Now, what you've got to be very wary of now, if I started undoing that without applying forward pressure on this shaft here, yeah, this one here, I'd have I'd turn it about two or three turns and gas would start escaping out of the threads at the side of the Schrader core and push this shaft out right out to the end of pressure, just literally push it back and I wouldn't have grabbed the Schrader core. So again, we push it in, turn it, just gone, and I press it to make sure she's home. And what I do, I put my two fingers here and I put my thumb on the back and I'm applying pressure with my left hand. And then my right hand, yeah, 
I'm going to start undoing the actual Schrader core. Okay, so see how much pressure I've got on there? I'm fighting against it to make sure I don't let it go and it'll bang backwards. Okay, till she stops. So what she's done now, this core removal tool has effectively taken the Schrader core out of the live side of the Schrader port and moved it to this side of the service valve. So if we do this now, we've effectively contained all the refrigerant in the system. Okay, so now if we take this out, there's the Schrader core on the end. Okay, got your little magnet. Keep it there nice and safe, away from any dirt and muck or losing it on the floor. Okay, and watch now. There you go. Okay, that's how simple and easy it is to remove a Schrader core. So you would then connect your hoses on here for your recovery machine. And the beauty of removing Schrader cores on here, okay, on this one, is that these block 90% of your flow rate. So that is going to make it massively quick, or 90% quicker for you to recover, okay? And also, you leave it on there to carry out the evacuation, get a holding charge in there, and then um, you can still leave these on to charge. And once the refrigerant's in there, then obviously you would reverse the process. To reverse the process, you do this, straight across on the end. You don't force it against this valve, because don't forget this is closed now. You tighten this up, okay? And now you open this, watch, well, it's a... Good demonstration. I don't know whether I'll push that back. It, it pushed the shaft back ever so slightly because it's now pressure onto this side of the valve. So we're going to push against the pressure, which is quite firm now, okay? Again, do it this way. And the beauty of tightening it, you know it's done it's because it stops. Do you know what I mean? There you go. In there. I'm happy with that. Got a slight bit of pressure. There's still, but next to nothing now on the other side of the valve. Okay. Now when I take this off here, there's going to be no gas um, flooding out of you. No liquid refrigerant to worry about. No um, significant vapor pressure and nothing. Listen to this. This is all that's going to be in you. Now bear in mind this valve is open because we needed it open to push the shred according to tighten it. That's all you. I, I doubt if you can even hear that on the camera. Okay, so now we can take the Schrader core off. So there we are. It's as simple and as easy as that to fit the Schrader core removal tool to any plant. Um, and, but I suggest that you do what I showed you in a practice first if you haven't got used to it. You've, once you've done it two or three times, you become an expert in Schrader core removal, which improves your time spent uh, or reduces the time spent recovering and evacuating okay so thanks for taking the time to watch the video i hope you enjoyed it and um, hopefully i'll see you all again soon thanks for watching bye bye now